Okay, so here today we're here with Luce, and Luce is going to demonstrate some uh, neck and upper back stretches and exercises. So we're going to start out with the uh, warm up. So Luce, go ahead and put your hands about chest high and start rotating right and left side. And she's turning her head too, like looking at her blind spot. That's going to get that cervical vertebra and disc warmed up, it's kind of like a lubrication process and oiling, oiling if you will. Okay, secondly, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into the next stretches. We recommend that you do everything 10 times and do it, you know, relatively slow speed. Any dizziness, lightheadedness, and I would suggest you stop and don't do it at all, but it's always a good idea to start slowly. Okay, do the lateral bending stretch, and she'll then take her hand and pull slightly, feeling a good stretch. You feel a good stretch here, Luz? Mm -hmm. Yes. Great, okay. And you can actually test which side's tighter. Go ahead and do the other side. And she's now doing her left side. Does either side feel tighter than the other, Luz? Yes. It I does. Mm -hmm. What side feels tighter? This, this side. The left side mm -hmm. feels tighter. And that's what you'll notice is one side is tighter. That means it's probably as a result of a trauma or injury or scar tissue deposition. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is have you roll your neck. Okay, down and then to the side. You never roll backwards because that jams the joints. So doing that is really good, just rolling side to side. That's excellent, that motion. Okay, then what we're going to do is go ahead and do some neck strengthening. So let's go ahead and take that ball, if you will, loose. And go ahead and you take a little ball, put it against the wall. And what she's going to do is she's going to push her head against the ball. When she does this, she's actually strengthening the muscles, what we call the front neck muscles. And that, when these, these muscles are weak, it causes the forward head posture. So then let's go ahead and do side uh, exercise. There you go. So here she'll do the side of her neck. Then she'll go ahead and just push and just work on feeling the muscle tighten up and do that for about 10 seconds and again 10 times. And, of course, the other side as well. Now, we can do a range of motion exercise with this ball as well. Go ahead and do the left and right exercise, where she will now go ahead and demonstrate a turning. And she's holding the ball there. So it's a bit of balancing and nice and slow and easy. She can get a range of motion improved with this type of exercise, as well as doing a strengthening at the same time. Okay. Now let's go on to some upper back shoulder blade exercises with a band. Now if you do not have this equipment, we do have this I think at the office. If not, you have this at your uh, exercise studios that you probably work at, out at. And she's going to step on this, put both feet on there. She's going to go ahead and cross her arms and she's going to maintain a good posture. So I don't know if you can see that she's pretty upright. Why don't we have you do from the side, okay? Turn to the side. Great, you can see that she's in a pretty good posture in this position. So now she's gonna go ahead and bring her shoulders back. There you go. So she's pulling back, working on the upper back, trying to pinch the shoulder blades together. Do you feel that there? Great, so we're working on that. She's also strengthening what we call the trapezius muscles, which is the muscles that are along the traps. So they start from the base of the occiput, go down to the shoulders, and go down into the upper or, uh, upper back, upper lumbar region or lower uh, mid back region, which is a diamond shaped muscle. So she's working that muscle. Okay, the next exercise is okay. Go ahead and go to the side. You step on there, and she's going to do some side exercise. So she'll go ahead and hold on to the neck and then just pull to the side. Go ahead and do that. Raising that shoulder up. There you go. All right. Okay, go ahead and do that. Great. And what are you feeling? You're feeling the isolating of that muscle. Now for many individuals, when we look at your posture, we're going to base that on your posture too and give you special postural exercises. Go ahead and do the other exercise as well. Okay, the there you go. Let's do the other side. Okay, 
and working that. Now we want our head straight at this point in time because we're not really stretching. We're just working again on the neck and shoulders and the arm there. All that is related. So many times when people have that uh, neck problems, they also have the shoulder problems because the majority of problems originate from the neck. Now what we can also do is do a little hand weight. Do we have a little hand weight here? This kind of shows some upper body for the shoulder arm and hands as well. This is wonderful. If you don't have that at your health club, you can make one. It's about a one to two pound weight. And what she's doing there is putting her arms out and rolling it up. Now that's working the forearms and the wrists. So many people today in today's society, of course, working at the desk all day and on the computer have wrist and hand problems. So you can see that she rolls it up, she lets it slide back down. And that is working on the hands and the wrists, the forearms. It's really working a lot of those muscles that help support the hands, wrists, and forearm. And let's slide down one more time. About the maximum times that you might be able to do that is three times. Okay? All right. Thank you. Now let's go into another neck strengthening exercise. And what it would be is actually getting on the floor. Now this is what we call the neck ups. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move this. Go ahead and line the floor there loose. And what you're going to be able to see is that she's lying on her back and her knees are up like they should be. And I'm going to reposition this. Okay, go ahead and raise your chin up like you're doing a sit up. See that? How she's raising her head straight up. Okay, and hold it for maybe three to five seconds. Do it again. There you go. Three to five seconds and then down. See how she's doing it nice and slow and deliberate. Perfect. So that'll help strengthen the neck exercises. I think that's enough exercises and stretches to do. Make your day, start your day first thing in the morning, start doing some stretches. Hopefully this will help you all recover faster. That's our intent here at, at Valentine Chiropractic and we just want to thank you. Bye-bye.